Bye bye, Bargway. Now on to Avaroa. So it's four hours and 20 minutes on to Avaroa via high tide track. You can also take a low tide track that's four hours and 10 minutes, but uh, I was recommended the uh, high tide track anyway because there is a cool swing bridge. So yeah, let's go. I actually ended up going back because I thought I forgot my tripod there and I looked through everything and I couldn't find it and I was like, well, okay, I have lost it or someone has stolen it, although that's very unlikely because like people have enough stuff and they don't need, they don't need your stuff here. And then guess where my tripod was? It fell between my backpack and the rain cover. Oh, ridiculous, but yeah, now I am finally on track. It's been 40-ish minutes since I left Bark Bay and there was this like really steep incline and so I'm out of breath and uh, I'm taking my time today and I can afford that because there's nothing else to do at the hut anyway so I can afford to take the time but tomorrow though I will have to sprint to make it on time for my water taxi but yeah today I just today I have all the time to just admire these beautiful views I just had a quick little stop at that little bay, sat there for about 10-ish minutes. There was service so I could text my mom that I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, And uh, yeah, now I'm continuing and uh, I still have about a few hours till uh, Avaroa Bay. And yeah, as I said, I'm just taking my time and enjoying. It's really, really beautiful.
what I've noticed about this track and what I really enjoy about it is how often the scenery changes. It's not like you just walk on the beach, but it's like you walk through the bush and then you walk through almost like swampy environment and then you walk on the beach and then you go uphill and downhill and across the rivers and it's just really beautiful. It's just unbelievable. I think my mind is starting to play games with me, telling me that I can't do this anymore, that I should give up. And I think I still have about five kilometers to go, and uh, of course I cannot give up, but uh, my mind is just playing those wicked mind games. And I can also feel a blister forming, so that is not helping. And it's really hot, but also what I like about this today is that there's no people like literally I've seen four people coming the other way and then just five of us going to Avaroa amazing amazing so I just had a quick lunch and just been admiring this view and examined my feet. There is a blister forming, I think, and I put a plaster on. And I've just been sitting here and just enjoying the view. It's just absolutely insane. And I think there's about three kilometers left to go to Avaroa Hut. And I also had a really cool conversation with some uh, with a Dutch couple that are just traveling here, and they are going. All the way up north and I think the further you go the less people there are because a lot of people actually come here on a day trip and so uh, they can only get to Anchorage hut and then yesterday at the hut we actually had like a three or four hour conversation like all of the solos just bumped together and we had like a three or four hour conversation about everything and anything and there is this girl from the UK she's doing it the other way around she actually did the inland track and then came from north and then she's going south and I'm going south to north. She said she didn't meet anyone on the inland track, which is really cool too, but yeah. I mean, this view is amazing and yeah, I'm gonna get going because it's getting really, really hot. <laughs> like there is almost three kilometers to Avaroa Hut and I've already walked for 11 kilometers today. there and yeah it didn't take me four hours it took me like five and a half hours <laughs> oh wow and there's a beach i guess oh honestly i'm so happy i'm almost there i'm trying to keep this positive and i mean i'm loving this but uh it is hard <laughs> it's definitely not not easy like views make up for it but um yeah it's there are some ups and downs and uh, there's definitely more ups than downs but uh, sometimes mine just plays games with you and tells you you can't do it anymore. I've walked 13 kilometers today and uh, it's just 500 to go.
Hi guys, it is day four and as you saw we did the crossing already and I'm basically just speed walking now. I'm sure the German guys will catch up with me but uh, for now I'm like speed walking and I have about six kilometers to Totorunui Bay which is supposed to take about two hours but uh, yeah I'm hoping to get there a bit faster because my water taxi is quarter to two and it's now like half past 11 so yeah I am gonna keep you updated but I can't promise to film a lot because my main goal right now is to get to the water taxi <laughs> Walking on the beach might look easy, but it's actually so hard and it slows me down a lot and uh, I can, I think I can finally see the sign where I need to go back into the bush. So, that's a good sign. <laughs> look at this, somebody made shell art. Oh, isn't this lovely? I just hate this. What a smile on my face, but I just... Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this last little bit is all the way uphill and I can't wait when it gets downhill and when I'm finally in Totorunui Bay and I can chill and relax and I still got heaps of time till my water taxi but this, I mean, I'm hating it and I'm loving it at the same time but just, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get back to the city and have a nice shower. I made it to Totorunui Bay with 45 minutes to spare and honestly it was stressful and I like speed walked and we even crossed the estuary a little bit before it was advised so low tide was around 12.40 today we started at 11 uh, it was advised that you do it one and a half hours before or two hours after so you would have like three and a half hours window but we started earlier and I got waist deep in water but it was so much fun I did it with two German guys it was just so much fun and I think in terms of the views my favorite day was day three yesterday was just chef's kiss like the views I mean every single day was amazing the views are just amazing in here but in terms of the views yesterday was my favorite in terms of funny story crossings it was today but yeah every single day was amazing despite how heavy my bag was how I was saying that I hate this and I can't do this anymore of course I love this and I would do it again tomorrow well not tomorrow maybe like a couple days later but I'm definitely going to be hiking more I think I am now into like hiking and camping and like through hikes and I just cannot wait and yeah, I am just gonna wait for my water taxi, eat my very melted bar. <laughs> and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this Apple Tasman series. And there's definitely going to be a few clips from my water taxi because I'm getting water taxi all the way back to Marahau where I started so the views should be amazing so I'll definitely film that but for now thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and I will see you very soon bye enjoy the rest of the video